You've been at this a long time. A lot of Christians have been praying about this forever and they just, you know, it's like they're tired. Like, is it, are we ever going to see this thing turn around? Where do you think we are in the battle? Well, number one, it is the prayers, the older I get, the harder I work, it is those prayers that I know are being answered. There is no way that we could be situated uh, where we are now without those prayers. The odds are just too much against it. It seems too impossible. I really think we will look back a few years from now and say, how in the world did that happen? Only God could have made this miracle happen. I think that it is very possible, and I'm not someone who, who says things like this. I just never do. I'm far more cautious, a little bit maybe too political sometimes. But I think it's very possible that we could damage, overturn, erode, over, <laughs> uh, just damage Roe versus Wade enough next spring that every state uh, is now emboldened to pass laws that protect the lives of unborn children. So what does that mean? You guys, it means that millions of children's lives, generations, family trees, people who were meant for certain purposes that only they could fulfill will arrive because of the work that people have done, because they've been on their knees, because they've been praying in front of clinics, because they've been helping elect people. And 50 years in the amount of time of history is really not that much. So, but we do know that every moment that passes, more children die. So the sooner this happens, the better. And I really am not kidding. I think this is really possibly around the corner.